WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. It's Monday, 9 a.m. Eastern Time, 30 minutes to go until that opening bell. And we got markets starting off in green territory, it looks like. Right now, we got the Dow futures up 64 points, trading at 26,761. S&P's positive by 6, trading at 29.56. NASDAQ futures positive by 23, trading at 77.74. We have oil up about 50 cents, trading at 57.89. And the 10-year trading at 2.03%. We'll start things off this morning. We'll take a look at the VIX for volatility index. Last week, of course, quite a week in the markets. We hit a low of 13 and change in that VIX as we charged to record highs on a couple of different indices. The VIX this morning, Monday, 1547, relatively low volatility. But when you consider that we're basically at all-time highs, there's some, there's some volatility priced into this market. We'll start things off. Let's jump over to the futures markets. We'll start it off with the Dow. As you can see, a pretty tame morning all things considered, 26,750, looking like the lower range, maybe even 740. We were up at 26,780 briefly at about 3 a.m. Eastern time, trading 26,759. NASDAQ 100, pretty similar story, backing things up to Friday's action. Got a spike to a high of 7,802, about 30 points off of that right now, trading at 7,772. S&P 500 trading at 29.56, backing that up to Friday as well. We got a spike to about 29.69. So you're talking about almost uh, 13 S&P points from that high, 29.56. Gold contract trading higher on the futures open last night. There is Friday's action, gold finishing right at around 1,400. You have the futures open last night pretty close to that level, 1,403. We charged higher at one point this morning to 1,414. You got gold trading at 1,408.27. Crude oil was up above $58 briefly this morning as well. Tensions with Iran, 57.83 in the price of August crude. And euro U.S. dollar trading 113.84. In terms of what else you have happening across the market, Caesars Entertainment getting sold to El Dorado Resorts for $8.5 billion in cash and stock as El Dorado looks to build scale to take on competition from larger companies such as the Sands and the Wynn Resort. So a little consolidation out there for Caesars Entertainment. Stay tuned, folks. we got our man Larry Pezzamento coming up right now with Trade What You See. I'll be back at 10 o'clock with Tom. Of course, Fast Market by TD Ameritrade, Thinkers from at 11. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White, Tom O'Brien all this afternoon. Have a great Monday.